And that's before you even get to the central banks, man, which are run by the so-called Jews out there that really have their agenda being pushed out there. So you go there to where they want to spend a certain amount of money on a, 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 a Planned Parenthood. That money, that 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 legislation is gonna get passed because that's to the interest of the elite banking families, which is to destroy the children of Israel. But let's say you got you come up with an idea. You're in college. You come up with an idea, okay, to uh, um to have free electricity for everybody. That's not gonna get back, man. That's not going through the through the system because that comes in direct contradiction to what to the way they're trying to set up this so-called uh, world new world order that they're trying to push forth out here okay so let me um continue here okay but pretty much like i was trying to explain to that guy but his pride was too much okay america britain all right any empire that's ever existed within the face of the world has been written about within the scriptures now when you go into the bible Right, it says it says that there there was gonna be a a, a, a kingdom, or uh, the eighth kingdom, which is of the seventh. If I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm butchering the scriptures. Okay, it says that it was gonna be a, a eighth, which was of the seventh, and the seventh was who? It was Britain. But then, the, but he, but there, it's all the same people. It's all the same empire. It's all part of the same beast structure. And ultimately, the beast was gonna be what? Bound, burnt, and then completely dis destroyed, man. See, that's the ultimate end of. The, the proud Edomites, okay? The the proud that the, the the ultimate end of the proud Edomites is that they was gonna be completely wiped off the face of the earth. Let me get that right quick. And let me finish this and I'll get that right. So this is uh, finishing off the book of uh first Thessalonians four and sixteen. It says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, right, with the voice of the archangel, and with a trump from the most side, all right, and the and the dead in Christ and Yahweh Shai must yuck shall arise uh, first so that the ones that are died for your house they was going to be risen first all right continuing 17 and says then they we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in in the government uh, uh, in the clouds to meet the um uh, to meet them in the clouds all right and um to meet the lord in the air all right and so shall we be with yahweh Right, uh, so shall we ever be with Yahweh, wherefore comfort each other with his words. So that's 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 that's, that's how the Lord's gonna do it, man. You okay, he's gonna call up his elect up into the chariots out there. And I showed you that within the book of Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. Now let's go into um, uh, Obadiah right quick, and then I'll go back to the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, on the fourth verse. So Obadiah, um, which I was gonna get this from earlier on, but see, now it's a better time to get it. You all right? Yeah, good, thank you. All right, so this is Obadiah. Um, uh, we want to go to um, three. I'll start from three, okay? Obadiah three says, The pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, you shall bring me down to the ground. So that's the mindset of the Edomites, man. The red Hebrew Edomites. And you have the classic example of pride. Okay, and that the individual that came, you know, he was there. You know, I like interacting with people, seeing where their mind is at. All right? But pretty much, um, as far as they're concerned, their kingdom is gonna go on forever and ever and ever. Now, if you had, you know, humbled down, okay, and understood, I could have given them some good advice, which is to go out there, get a credit card, and max that whole thing out, man. Okay, live it out, man. Okay, go out there to knock on the doors of the elite banking families and ask for your portion, ask for your cut. All right, because the end, the end, like, like, like how I began, you know, the, the camp. The end of the Edomites is going to be completely wiped off the face of the earth, man. Okay, when you go to a system that basically where the money that exists was borrowed into existence, and anybody could, anybody with an iPhone, anybody with a smartphone can Google that and find that out. <laughs> it's that simple. The money that you have within your pocket is not money. It's just pieces of paper that was borrowed into existence. Now, a long time ago, that money represented what? A certain amount of gold that was supposedly stored up for you out there in some vault somewhere. They did away with that system here in England and out there within America. In America, it was called what? Gold? Uh, gold? Uh, uh, was it was greenbacks. I might be mistaken in that, but it was known as all. All of them were known as what? Uh, uh, gold-backed currencies. And that's what Gaddafi was trying to set up out there, all right? Within um, within the, with, with Yemen. Okay, I forget what country he's from, but that's what he was trying to set up for his people. He was trying to set up a gold-backed currency, a unified African gold-backed currency. All right, you niggas talking about gold back to Africa, right? <laughs> but he was trying to set up a gold-backed uh, currency that was going to benefit his people. All right, and that comes up again, again, that comes up against what? That comes up against the, the system that the elite banking families are trying to set up. See, when you go to a system that's based upon debt, 
and people have to, you know, governments are borrowing money into existence, and the flow of money, okay, between the banks and the people creates currencies, and then you got fractional reserve currency. <laughs> I should have told, I just should have told them about that. See, a lot of people don't know that because really, when you're talking about a budget being placed by a, a politician, and the politician borrows money from the central bank, and then now you have money. That money only accounts for maybe 20% of the money that's actually in, in, in circulation. 80% of the money that comes in, that, that actually is used, okay, comes from what's known as fractional reserve banking. Okay, where you put 10 pounds into the bank, so therefore the bank loans out eight. <laughs> right, and then the person that gets that eight pounds, okay, goes out there into uh, another bank, deposits that. So let's say, hold on, let's, let's, let's look at it another way, right? You buy a house for 100K, right? You gave you, you you borrow 100k, okay? You give uh, 100k to estate agent number A, right? That 100k goes into their bank, all right? And that means that their bank can now borrow what? 90k to a person that wants to buy 90k's worth of house, and the chain repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats. That's what's known as fractional reserve banking, meaning to say. The actual money that was borrowed into existence in the first place only accounts for a small amount of money that's actually in circulation, man. Okay? The rest of the money that's actually in circulation is just being created out of thin air, man. Through a process known as fractional reserve banking. Which goes to show you that what? Ultimately, at some point, somebody's gonna say, hold on a minute. We can't pay all of this debt off. And that's what you have out there within America. Because you might say, you, 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 got, a, you, got, a, you got a situation where people are saying, oh, America owes this much to this country and that country. you got to understand how all of these things come, come into being. Okay, they owe all that money to these different countries because they 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 got fraction reserve banking. And that debt gets sold off to another place over there and another place over there, man. Okay? I mean, you can get into the money thing all day. The point I'm making is that what? The ultimate end of this is that they ain't gonna have nothing left pretty soon, man. Their, their so-called kingdom is gonna collapse. All right, here it is, they got a, a so-called society that basically functions off of what? Dysfunctionality. That's gonna come to an end, man. Okay, that's all, always gonna clash. In fact, they say that uh, uh, um, fiat currencies only have a lifespan of 15 years. Now, how long has the, the pound been going? How long has the dollar been going? Been going for the longest because the old reserve currency was the dollar was the pound, and the new reserve currency is the is the dollar. But as countries migrate to other currencies, you're gonna have a situation where pretty much what the pound is not gonna be either. the pound is gonna be done away with. Okay, it's gonna be devalued. Okay, and also too the the, the dollar this is it's gonna be done away with too. And they're gonna have to release release that chip that we read about within the book of Revelations, the thirteenth chapter, as the substitute system. Okay, for the pound and the dollar collapse. Okay, more 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 the dollar because really the scriptures is dealing with the dollar, but I'm just saying the pound because we're in England. So uh, going back onto the book of Obadiah, the um, third chapter, third verse, five more. It says, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high. Um, whose habitation is high, that saith. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Okay, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and that, that's like a clue right there. Okay, you're trying to tell me, you're trying to decipher who the children of Edom are. Look within history, okay, and find out who the people that uh, exalted themselves as the ego or had the ego as the symbol or the sigil of their household. You go back into the times of Rome, you know, or you look when they so-called moon landed, they said the ego was landed. Okay, so these people, the Edomites, the Red Hebrew Edomites, have always been uh, um, uh, 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 synonymous with that ego. And also, too, an ego is a, a thing of, uh, is synonymous with pride because the ego is a high-flying bird, man. Okay? So it says here, um, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, then will I bring thee down. Now I'm going to go straight to the point here, um, which is in the um, 18th verse. It says, in the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph shall be a flame. All right, so we're going to be like a, a fire and a flame, the house of Israel all together, right? All right. And it says, and the house of Esau for, shall be for stubble, and they shall king to win them, and they shall devour them, and they shall not be remaining of the house of Esau, okay, of the house of Edom. All right, they, so the ultimate end, so like I could have given him some good advice. You could have said, look, go out there, get yourself a credit card, max the thing out. Because the ultimate end of Esau is that the, the scripture says that what? That they shall not be remaining any of the house of Esau. So go out there and enjoy yourself, man. Okay, if you're an Edomite, 
go out there and enjoy yourself. Now, if you're one of the children of Israel, you're supposed to be in the mindset of what? Okay, you're supposed to be in the mindset of turning back onto your Abba Hashim Yahashai so the Lord will have mercy on you in the time of Jacob's trouble that's going to be coming up. Because, you know, I've spoken about it. I've spoken about the, the, uh, the, um, the, some of the things that, that this man's going to do in the time of uh, 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 Jacob's trouble. Okay, I've touched on uh, some of those topics. All right, but really, you don't know how heavy he's going to come down, man. He might come down real heavy, man. Real, like they say in the streets, he might come down real greasy, man. Okay, and in, in, in so doing, all right, and in so doing, uh, 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 um, a lot of people is going to be, you know, a lot of people's faith is going to be tested. So I was in the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, well, Romans, the eleventh chapter, a long time ago. I'll go back to that. I'll be cutting off a little bit, you know, in a little while. All right, so, um, Romans 11, and, and you know, I, 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 I married it with um, uh, 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 Revelation 20th chapter. So here in the book of Romans, the 11th chapter, and this is um, Romans 11 and 4, it says, What say, what say, what say if the answer? So it says, Hey, I'll start from the third verse so you can get some, uh, so you can get back into it. For Romans 11 and 3, it says, The Lord. It says, Lord, they have killed all thy prophets, and they dig down thine altars, and uh, and I am the only one left. So that was the mindset of um, the prophet uh, uh, Elijah. Okay, that's what he was thinking. But in reality, the most I had reserved unto himself, okay, a, a particular number that had not bowed down the knee to Baal, right? So it says, even so, and it says here, but what saith the answer of the most I unto him? Uh, I have reserved to myself 7,000 men, which have not bowed down to the, their knee to the image of Baal. Which is the same thing that you're gonna have happen out right now. Okay, you're gonna have a, a particular number of men that are not gonna bow down to the image of Baal, man. All right, they ain't gonna bow down to the image of the beast. All right, which, like I said, the, the, the image of, the, of America is to worship the way of the American lifestyle, right? To be uh, uh, to be fully engrossed, okay, in, in the functioning, okay, and, and the workings of the American way of life, man. That's what they want you to worship. All right, they want you to worship uh, 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 Jordan sneakers, okay, uh, 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 rap music, okay, wearing uh, snapbacks. All right, I'm not saying if you wear a snapback, you're going off, but I'm saying they really want you to be worshiping that way of lifestyle, man. Okay, because that's 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 as far as they're concerned, that's that's the safe zone. But the minute you start coming up in, in, into this truth and you start so called, okay, pushing the, the word of Yahweh Bashimi outside, getting into the word of Yahweh Bashimi outside, that's when you become a problem because why? Because you're a direct threat to the operation that they want to have in place, which is the so called New World Order, okay, the RFID chip. And their so called New World Order really is an anti Messiah uh, lifestyle, man, where they're going to, and they're actually going to declare to you who their real God is, man, which their real God is Satan, man, okay? Um, but go, continuing here, it says, even so, at this present time, like right now, in this present time, even so at this present time, uh, um, even so, even so at this present time, there's also a remnant according to the election of grace. So the Mosai, all right, according to his good graces, has, has kept an election, a remnant. Right, men that wasn't gonna that wasn't gonna uh, bow down the, their knee to the image of um of the beast. Okay. Um. There is a remnant according to election, the election of grace, and if you be by grace, it is no more of work. So you can't be. You know, you might do a million videos, <laughs> but that don't give you a, 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 a um a, um a what a, what you call it a direct. Okay, that doesn't that don't give you a, a guaranteed ticket to get in. You, you know, most likely, but it ain't no no guarantee, man. Okay, so continuing it says here. Uh, um, otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if you be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, the work, the work is no more work. Seventh verse. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which is seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. So, the elect was gonna obtain mercy. Okay, the elect was gonna obtain the uh. The uh, mercy of your from your heart by me outside, all right. Um, but the rest was going to be blinded, as he's going to say here, right? Uh, Israel has not obtained that which is seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded, according as it is written, the Mosai, uh, uh, the Mosai has given them a, a spirit of slumber, eyes that they shall not see, ears that they shall not hear, unto this day. 
all right? Continue and it says, and David saith, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. So that's what our King David, that's what King David said, that, right? Because really the, these Negroes and Hispanics and Native Americans, some of them, they, you can't do nothing with them, man. Okay, you got some. You got some of our people out there within the within the um, like he was out there within the bushes, man. Okay, out there uh, uh, with you know with bows and arrows. Okay, uh, you know walking around naked all day. Okay, in the Amazon forest somewhere. You got another bunch of our people out there that selling drugs to their own people, destroying their own neighborhood. So there's there's a lot of there's a lot of variations. Okay, on, on what a what a uh, Israelite can do uh, and will be within the society. But the reality of the situation is the Most High got an elect that he's reserved unto himself. And some of these people, you ain't, you can't, you, the, the Most High has already put that curse on them to where they wasn't going to understand this word, they wasn't going to understand this truth. Okay? Um, continuing here, it says, um, According to as it is written, the Most High has given them a spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, ears that they should not and ears that they should not hear right unto this day. Right? And David saith that let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block. And a recompense unto them. So that you got you got it to where they was gonna sit down and try to get into the scriptures, right? They was gonna be uh, 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 entrapped by particular philosophies. They was gonna be entrapped by particular uh, the, the very scriptures themselves. Here it is, the scriptures were supposed to be to their salvation. But you got it to where you got Jake out there that open up the scriptures and the more sides put a stumbling block out there for them, man. Now check that out. That's why they get into the thing of Caesar balls, yeah. They, Roman Catholic or whatever, whatever, anything other than what? Their true heritage because they're entrapped within what? They're entrapped within, well, not entrapped, but they, they got trapped up, man. Okay? The more side had it to wear what? They got taken up within that snare. Okay? Now, continuing here, it says, um, and this this is a quote, this is coming from the, uh, 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 from Isaiah the sixth chapter and the ninth verse. All right? Because, and the scripture says that what? In fact, let me get it. All right, because I can, if I read it from there, you see that this there's a time span to this. All right, and, and, and this is why we say if a, if a dude ain't getting it, we, we're moving on, man. Because really, the scripture says you're supposed to be a quick, quick understanding. You it ain't supposed to take you months and months and months. You know, it might take you months and months to understand. Everybody learns differently, right? It might take you months and months to understand particular parts of the doctrine, but for you to really to, to get into this word it ain't supposed to take a large dispensation of time i like that word <laughs> right so isaiah 6 and 9 it says um and he said go tell these people hear ye indeed but understand not see ye indeed but perceive not so they hear the word of the lord but they don't they don't want to understand the scripture talks about how this is a sortish people okay children that will not understand the scripture says was it uh, uh jeremiah 4 and 22 Okay, my people is foolish, they have no uh, understanding, but they have an understanding to do wickedness though. Okay, you speak to one of the Negro, Hispanic or Native Americans, they'll have an understanding of how to do drugs and all kind of madness and all that. Okay, but they have no understanding of Yahabah Shimei Okay, so it says there, um, uh, go tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, see ye indeed, but perceive not. Also too, the scripture says that what? That their mindset is that they want to hear smooth words, man. Okay, speak unto a smooth things. Okay, don't speak on, don't tell me about, don't tell me about World War Three. Don't tell me about not loving the society. They want to hear a doctrine that's about them prospering within the society, man. That's the mindset of the 12 tribes of Israel. But the reality of the situation is you ain't going to see prosperity within Babylon, man. This is a land of confusion. All right, they might, here it is, here it is, you got examples of Jake's that was out there that sold out, okay. What happened to those guys, man? They ain't on top anymore. They, they're right back where they started. Wesley Snipes. Okay, Chris Tucker. All they, the names are endless. Mike Tyson. Whether it's by their own hand or, or, or another, or, or, another uh, um, <coughs> or the elites coming up against them. <coughs> all the Israelites that was out there that sold out, they find themselves back right where they started, man. Okay, right, right on the bottom, or, or, or right back on the bottom, on the block where they began from. Okay? But the, the point I was making is that's the mindset, that's the that's the wording that Jake wants to hear. They want to hear the smooth things. Oh, bro, this you do this, this, that you're gonna make money. Do this, this, that, and the third. Okay, and you're gonna become prosperous. And the reality of the situation is, how are you gonna gain prosperity in a in in a, in a kingdom? All right, that's been prophesied to be doomed, man. 
Okay, that's counterproductive. Here it is, we're speaking about what's going to come after, and you're focused on what, what's going to end now. That's why going back onto the piece of that I read earlier, okay, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, because the end of this society is going to be the beginning of Jacob's rule. So continuing here, it says, uh, Go tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat. Make their ears heavy and sharp their eyes, that they see with their eyes and hear with their eyes. Right, it is. And understand with their heart and convert because ultimately the more disciple that spirit of sleep from these Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans, they was gonna understand the scriptures and they was gonna convert and they was gonna be healed. See, this word is the healing. Okay, this is the real herbal essences, so you can understand. This is the real remedy. All right, you're talking about how you're gonna fix black people. Really, the Mosai is dealing with the Israelites, which was going to come predominantly looking at Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, but ultimately they was going to look like any nation upon the face of the earth. But how was you going to heal the Israelites? Through the word and the teaching of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh, man. Okay, so it says here, um, and Then said I, how long? And he said, Until the seas be laid waste and without inhabitants, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly uh, uh, desolate. So that's what's going to be coming, man. All right, you're going, the, the old, like I said, the end of this thing ain't going to be pretty. It, for for uh, we, The end of Esau's kingdom ain't going to be pretty, but for us it's going to be beautiful because it's going to be mean the beginning of our society, okay? So what I'm going to say, all praise unto you, Abba, Hashim, Yahshai, Wahara, Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles, the great millstone, honor your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.